All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are prepared. You are about to be put on to something the stock market has never seen before. Welcome to the invention of day swinging. That is what we're going to talk about today. I invented this along with, you know, I'm Josh from the Trading Fraternity, if you guys don't know me. Founded the Colt, the Ghetto Spreads, many, many other uh, amazing stuff you've heard about. And now we have day swinging. So I'm going to go over this. I said I was going to talk about this to explain the stream alerts. And really, this is a option trading for beginners guide on just quick, easy stuff for even watching the stream so you guys do not make mistakes. So although it may say stream alerts guide, here's the best part, my friends. There's no stream alerts without the stream. So this is a guide for how you guys can use the stream as well as if you do have the stream alerts. Now, even better, we are posting the watch list tonight. And I was going to make this video, but we got some historic trade news, some stuff going on. This is going to be a great week to understand how to take advantage of what you're seeing on the stream. And if anything does pop off and you're not going to be there, the stream alerts are really going to be there to help you. So I'm excited. And I want to go over this because hopefully, shout out to Chad, baby, we could eliminate a lot of easy losses and a lot of people's strategies and approaches towards trading options. That's why I'm coming here with this day swinging concept. So think about it. You've heard of sway, swing trading. You've heard of day trading. It is a mix between both of those. So it's being able to use what you guys are already doing with day trading, but then understanding how options function and to be able to take advantage of them and give yourself even time to be able to swing them while at the same time never missing a day trading opportunity, which is the key to all of it. So that's what I'm going to discuss here. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new and the watch list tonight at seven and we're live 30 minutes before open. That's pinned in the comments. So let's get to it. So right off the bat, before we talk about anything, this is for the beginners. How do you buy a contract? It is buy to open. How do you sell out of a contract? It is sell to close. So instead of buy or sell, to enter in a contract, you buy to open. If you bought it already and you're on your Robin Hood, whatever you want to sell, you go sell to close. And now there's going to be limit orders and market orders. And now why am I starting with these? I've been doing a study since we've launched the stream alerts. I've taken random people with zero background at trading and I've thrown them into it and seen what they've done. And I'm looking at what they're doing and how they first react because I think this is what a lot of people do. And I'm noticing these are the big things that come up is that people, you guys are losing money simply by not knowing this. And now if you do know it, you're like, oh, yeah, just, just get to the good stuff, you know understand here because now at the same time you could understand how a lot of new people are trading in certain option activities you could probably take advantage of that yourself but bear with me advanced people so selling out is to close and now market order is literally you're throwing it up there if you say market order you usually get filled right away and you will get filled at the bid sometimes lower if you put in now a limit order you have to understand you're saying i want this much money if I don't get, I want this much money or more. If so, if no one is, you know, you have a contract for fifty dollars, and you say I want fifty dollar limit order, you will not get forty nine, and and that's the issue because now you aren't up that much. Check the bid. If you want to see what your contract is worth, do not believe your portfolio. Do not believe your Robinhood. They are telling you the mark. And what the mark is, it's taking the difference between the bid and the ask and giving you in the middle. So if the bid is at 5 and the ask is at 15 it's going to say your contract is worth $10 when in reality, it's probably worth $5 at the bid if you wanted to sell it instantly. So if you put in a market order it when the bid is showing five you would most likely get filled at five cents or higher if you put in a limit order now at 10 that's why you're not getting filled because the lowest the highest order or the highest offer to pay is at five even though someone wanted 15 you went lower than them but if it doesn't get filled right away nobody wants it there so you'll have to either cancel or change your order those three things right there will make sure you get out of the contract understand your value value and aren't getting stuck on this stuff and if you ever do have question come on stream and that is the next part i want to tell you guys shout out shout out big homie mike and a lot of other people on the stream alerts we have a few people it's not as big as i'd like so far um but we still have a decent amount of people and i'm able to look and i know who's there and i've been including it in the stream alerts messages if you have a question or if I do a stream alert play, come and ask me. And if you are in the stream alerts, I know your name on there. So talk to me because Mike, I saw Mike had some questions. Come, come during 
the market and that is where we're going to answer it we will be setting up some stuff and weekend streams to discuss some of it however in the most part the number one our business hours market open to market close monday through friday anything else you come to the youtube videos if not but if i know who you are uh you know you build that relationship with me you come on the stream i'll gladly answer anything so i have your questions and i do want to answer them in front of everybody and that's why we do it you know the stream alerts and, and even the stream itself we could answer one question could help out a thousand people while instead of just you know repeating that one question a thousand times so there's that but now let's get into day swinging so here it is i have a nice little funny thing for you guys to the window okay you guys probably think i'm crazy but if you've watched the stream, you know how most news events go. You do not have to catch it right away. And now this is what I'm telling you guys with the stream. This is both for the stream alerts and the people on the stream. I think we did like Cognizant. They had a play the other day. Really, what I'm trying to tell you is that if some, you see something big happen on, on stream and it's a news event, something's popping, you have a window. That's why I said to the window. And there's a window for opportunity. If you are buying in now... Even on the stream alerts, you know, most plays are going to be small and you're going to have this 10, 20 minute window. So if something happens on the stream, a news event, something's moving, Boeing happens with this and that, there's usually, I say 10 to 20 minute, I say 5 to 20 minute window for you to still make a more, a better play. And usually you'll see most of my, my first scales, my first plays are usually small scale ins and I, you guys will usually have a better fill to get in after me. That's what happened. Cognizant. If you played Cognizant after me, and that was a stream alert too, and even then, you didn't need, again, I, even though I'm saying stream alerts, I want to make sure you guys understand the same, if you are just have the time to be in the stream, you would have saw the exact same thing in real time. There was a window, it was five, 10 minutes after I bought it, you could have played it. Almost every single play, you could have done that. Even my McDonald's that are up 15 uh, or 150, 200%, you had a window to access them multiple points throughout the day and even the next day and that's what i'm saying that's where day swinging comes in because some of these moves occur and they would be a day trading move but there is a window especially with the options where the options go crazy and come down so that's the beauty of the stream alerts that's the beauty of you guys using me as my first thing and now i'm aware of that that is why i scale in on the first one so i'm sharing my plays with you guys I'm telling you guys this information so you do not get too jumpy and buy something or you see, oh, a stream alert or Josh just made a trade. There's this news. I'm going to go all in. Don't forget to the window. That's why I made this at Little John song to the window, to the wall. You guys, it's very, very easy to understand here. There's going to be a window of opportunity and the window of opportunity. Isn't that first minute. If you do get it really quickly, like we did that UNH, if you get before, yes. But after the event, you're going to have that 10, 20 window. So you scale in and you go small. And that blew someone's mind. Every time people in the chat were bringing out their options contract, someone's like, okay, should I get this uh, Microsoft call for $200 for, for a month out? And I said, it's good you have time on it. It's good you have all that, but $200 is expensive. You don't know what's going to happen here. Instead of doing that, go with that $200 and go make your first order on that same contract for $100 or even $50 and then wait until Monday or then wait a couple more days and then add another 50 to see how it fluctuates that's setting up your window right you have a window of on it you could buy in but then you got to scale in so then that way you're not throwing all your money in and that way you guys don't get burned and the beautiful part about options if you've been on stream i bet small to win big i'm not betting big to win small that is you know that's the beauty that's why we're mixing day trading and, and swing trading here so even if you scale in and you're small 50 bucks, 100 bucks, if it does what you thought, you're still going to make a very, very sizable chunk because that's the leverage of options. You don't need to get greedy and have double, triple the percentage when you're still going to walk away with a great gain. So keep that in mind. The next one to the wall. So you guys are seeing your trade. You know what's going on. It's like to the window, understand your window of opportunity and now to the wall. What I mean by this is wait to make the plays and understand day swinging now. Take swing trading and mix it with day trading. Get better opportunities. Go for plays that you could swing, usually just by getting more time simply. And that's the thing. If you guys don't know what you're doing, do not trade the weekly options. And that's you, you, we're going to get to that. But go for plays that you just by simply adding more time. And then here's the best part. If there's a day trading opportunity, you take it. So the idea is day trading news comes across the stream, this and that. You get in, get yourself more time so you're not confined to trying to get the biggest amount. And now you got to use a little bit of amount too because it says you could take 
you can trade off a of day trading type news, but get positions that you could hold just a tad bit longer, just in case, and to save your day trades for the people worrying about the PDT. Point being is that most, if not all of my trades do this, but I'm trying to make a trade on an option. I'm looking to win. I'm not looking to win right away, or I'm not trying to use a big position to flip it quickly for a small gain. And that's what I'm telling you guys here too. You are day swinging. You could go into a day trade thing, but the whole point is now, if you are day swinging, use the day trading news, but then don't use a day trading position. Don't put a big amount of money. That's what day traders do because if you're trying to go in and out, in and out through the day, there's not going to be big moves. That's why 10% move to a day trader or a tenth of a percent is so big to them because they're going to be putting in $100,000 or a large amount trying to get a tenth of a percent off that, which would still be a, a, you know, a worthy enough amount to do that. But that's what I'm saying. Not only does getting more time help you hold the play, but putting less money, just like we just talked about with scaling in. So now you're playing these day trades, you're on options, and that's what you guys can't forget. Even if you use less money and you're scaling in, you're on options. You're going to leverage, you're still going to make a lot of money if that move hits and you're right on it. So you do that, but the whole idea is by going in small, it's going to give you an opportunity to lose. That's how I'm able to stock these plays and go 20 bucks on McDonald's, see what happens. I'm down on it for a day. It goes down 90%. I'm still in it. And then I could wait and see and then average down two strikes closer to the money. It has a week, two weeks of time on it. But three days later, it's already back up. I averaged down perfectly. I'm up 150 on the other ones. The other ones are back up 30% that I was I lost on. And I only use small amounts. So day swinging, my friends. But again, too, this goes with what we talked about to the wall. Push the contracts to the wall. You know they're going to expire. You know how it's going to work. So use small amounts of money and then also keep going to the next week. You guys see how I am. That Monday, Tuesday, I'll open up with this week's. And then after that, I push the next week's into the wall. I'll get those and then I'll wait for the ones this week. But even better, though, a big concept for here for the stream alerts and on stream that you guys simply need to understand the trades that I'm making and hitting. I'm not making them with the intention of hitting them right away. If I did, I would be putting in a lot of money right away trying to get a small amount of money out because of that move. But for the most part, with the uncertainty and how the prices of options move, this strategy helps protect it. And you got to be a little bit more diligent on there. So there's that. And now, one of my favorite ones, to the theta drip on my calls. Yes. So most of you have heard of theta. Most of you have heard of time decay. Most of you have been in this position. Weeklies expire fast. Theta time decay. Most new people are unaware of this. That's why I say they expire like really, really fast. Don't put a lot of money into them. A lot of money is $30. Yes, like a pack of jewel pods. Why do I say it like that? Because it's not a $30 contract that really means $3,000. I'm saying 30 bucks or less, maybe 50 if you got it like that. And if you do got it like that, well, pay the plug. But at the same time, these weeklies expire really, really fast. And if you're new, you don't understand that. And if you don't, if you can't accurately understand time decay, it's just not something you want to play with. So be cautious of these weeklies. Just because you see me get a weekly doesn't mean you get a weekly. The biggest, the best advice I could give, I know how to handle them. I'm, I, you know, see, I don't need to make a guide for me telling myself to scale. I already know what I'm expecting. But for you guys, you see me buy a weekly, you have no other context. You have no idea. Go add two weeks to that contract. So if you want to play what I played, add two, three, four weeks on it, and even four weeks especially, maybe even three months, and you'll see a lot better of results. But this is why you guys are losing fast. It's because weeklies expire fast, and time decay and the theta drip on my calls. You buy something. If you buy it at the wrong time, every day that's going to change value. So that's what we give lessons on every day, and we're talking about knowing and in in that. I'm not going to go that deep into it right now and say, understand how theta works if someone you know why no one's going to be willing to buy it from you on the same day of a weekly we have videos on that and, and that's the same thing too if a contract is going to expire tomorrow or why would someone pay you money to buy the stock if it's going to expire and they could buy the stock tomorrow and not have to deal with any weight or uncertainty but for you guys just be careful of the weeklies because a lot of new people are losing on them and even then what i'm saying too even if you're not new but you're watching me play a weekly and you're like, oh, I'm going to take it because Josh did add two or three weeks to it minimum because you do not have the same account as me, the same strategy, the same experience. And and, and most people aren't even as quick as me on there, too. That is another thing you got to think of. So even if you're watching the stream, this 
go add, you could get sim literally by adding two to four weeks of time on the same contract I play. All you're going to do is you're going to make probably 20 to 30% less than I do, but you're going to not lose 50 to 60% as much as I do because of the time. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys to highlight. The weeklies expire and move almost 10 times faster than any other contract. So you have to be very, very careful. So you even have to understand too, I'm saying don't play them. Or even if you are, like I said, it's like counting cards. There is certain opportunities. It makes sense. And you guys are big kids. You are going to do it on your own and figure out how to do this. Be my guest, but I'm giving you the warning now. You can't say nobody warned you. Don't do it. And if you are, don't put a lot of money into it. And now here's the next thing. Even if you don't put a lot of money into it, 30 bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks. If you do it 10 times, it adds up. You Before you know it, you could be spending a lot. You know, they're very high risk. It's a lot of expenditures. So if you don't know what you're doing and see me do it, add one week to it for a minimum two, three weeks and you'll be good. And again, like I said, if you're on the stream alert, say, hey, I know who you are. Say, like, hey, what do you think about this? Let me know. And if you guys tell me what you guys are working with, uh, you guys know I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm open to, to share my thoughts with this stuff. But at the same time, I want to make sure you guys are careful with it. And if you know, you're not going to learn buying what I'm buying without understanding this stuff. Uh, and that's what I said for even the people on the McDonald's. So we will see. But uh, this came up from one of my, one of the subjects we were studying. They even said I was up 30%, then break even, then down 30 after stepping away. Then it came back down to the same price and I was still banned. He was just like, this doesn't make sense. It's stupid. I was like, you're trading a weekly, you know, it, it really is counterintuitive. And this is something people, people have never dealt with theta or time decay in any other industry. It's, it's the weirdest thing. So by giving yourself the time, you are going to negate that impact more. And lastly, or no, there's two more. Oh, these prices crawl. <laughs> I'm funny, right? Stocks aren't always going to move, my friends. Just because I make a trade doesn't mean you have to. And sometimes I won't even trade. Uh, you guys even saw that a few days ago, right before the earnings. There wasn't anything. We don't have to take it. So despite this being even for you guys on the stream, that's why I don't like the YOLO bucket anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't want to force anything. I'm never going to force anything. I don't want outside pressure. Even though we even have the service, I'm telling you with the stream alerts, it's stream insurance. It's to let you know if something happens so you do not miss it. But there's not always going to be a play. And that's what you guys got to understand. And prices crawl things moving now this goes to the best part it, it goes to swinging day swinging swinging lets you take advantage of time why do you guys ever notice go on amazon 300 dollars out of the money people are willing to spend you know hundreds and if not thousands of dollars for an amazon contract why because it's time time is the most important thing that's why it's so difficult in time decay but people will just pay literally for time nothing else because time in the market is important you could only make so much if a stock moves a dollar or 10 cents in a day, but five days in a row or 30 days averaging, you know, a dollar every other day, that really adds up and that's really good for options. But the only way that happens is literally through time. So you need time. That's why we pay for time. But hopefully you're there and uh, could understand what I'm saying with that because this is where day swinging is good because if you're able to make these plays, you find a window, there's news happens, whatever it may be, you get in it and you, you're setting it up not as a day trade but a day swing. You scale in, you got time, it goes up. You're going to be able to both play that first day trade move. If it moves up a big portion in one day, you take it. If not, you could even take half and then hold it. And then you'll wait in day after day and day. And that's what happened with the Qualcomm calls. You know, we played those Qualcomm calls during that event. We got the 75s, you know, and again, that one, we played the news, the stream alerts, but then this was a day swing. I put in a small amount. I got a lot of time. And at the first pop, we we're up $300. The next few days we we're up $900. By the time we sold out, I'm up 13, $1,400. I got to take advantage of this move. So this was a day trade wow, you would have made a lot of money there, but by day swinging it, you were about to make even every every single week extra. So day traders really didn't get you. If you made a lot of money on this day trading, you had to take an extreme amount of risk and really be on top of it. I just put in $60, $40 and literally closed my eyes and, and went to everything else I was focusing on. So there you guys go. So again, different types of strategies, even for your guys' lifestyle and account too. Think about that. But again, it moves slow. And lastly... Ah, oh, stipe, 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 stipe. Oh, I was going to say, odd oh, trade, 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 or ah, oh, stock, stocks. We'll see. But you guys, you only got to get rich once, man. You want your stream alerts to pay for itself. 
literally for one trade to hit fifty dollars uh even if the ones we lost, like even if there's losing trades i think there's at least a play every week in there to hit the fifty dollars but don't even look at just trying to make the 50 bucks off one of those but i'd rather look at it try to make 600 bucks you know 50 bucks a year a month for 12 months is 600 dollars uh you have 30 days in a month you could ignore every stream alert and find just one good one or wait and snipe one play that's going to make you that literally just like that Qualcomm we talked about $30 into 1300 you only have to get once and it comes through sniping so even though I'm that's the beauty of it you have the chat you have me making all these trades doing it you get to see and learn and see where everybody's at and looking at and how the profits are going you just that's why I push it the window to the wall you could take advantage of it and that's the best part even if you don't have a small account doesn't mean you try to get on the front lines with the guys like me with the big accounts you you scoop up everything off the bottom you let us go to battle and then you guys come in and clean it up so that's why I say you snipe you snipe you snipe you snipe you wait but that requires developing patience and all that but you know, four weeks a month, bunch of plays every day. Your, your job is to pick the one right one or the two right ones, not all of them. You know, I, I, I'm out there commanding. I'm looking out there for you. I'm showing you where the battle's happening, but not every battle is going to be for you. You see what I'm saying? So just snipe and be careful. But that's a quick little stream alert guide. Hopefully you guys don't make the same. Just again, quick, easy mistakes. As you see, the benefit of the stream alerts is the timing. But as a beginner, you need to know the things of timing. You need to know how to get into a contract quickly or you need to know how to sell it or even what it's worth when you're in there. And now, too, you have to understand when you see a trade happen on screen, when you get a text, does it mean go, 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 go? No, it's saying, hey, this is happening. Even if I made up my first trade, come in and ask me how much I put into it. But it's very simple. It's saying, hey, there's something happening. This is interesting. We've scaled in. There's a window of opportunity. And that's going to be our first window. And we're going to stop and see what happens there. Then we're going to push it into the wall and see what goes on from there and either average down next week, walk away, or we start to swing it or we get we get out of it and take the initial pop if that made the most sense. Next thing is understand you're not going to trade the weeklies just because you see me trading the weeklies. I'm using those as initial scales. That even relates to the sniping. Those aren't going to be the first ones for you. So just be cautious on that and you don't have to go about them. But especially for you new people starting, you're not going to start on weeklies and get better. It just doesn't work like that. What you're going to do, start on three months, six months, a year out contracts, and then you could start moving down to, to, to faster dated contracts. But other than that, you got to just make sure you control time. If you guys are controlling time or just taking all these little 30 bets you will blow up your account before you know it It adds up you got to be smart on that and understand how values can change quickly with options it's not a stock it's a lot different so there's that they move slow options you could t you get the real crazy gains with time it's not just the one day moves but more or less the the three to 30 day moves and that's why we got day swinging baby and then snipe 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 just pick one your job is to find one, not all of them. Pick your battle, pick your fight. You guys got to know how to do that. And that's the problem a lot of new traders have. You guys aren't picking the right fight. You guys think you're bullies and you're going up against some big, big people and you're trying to fight on stuff that's just moving too quickly, a lot of money, a lot of risk. That's not your playground to be at right now. You, you got to level up before you could face the boss. So that's what I was saying. You guys can see what everything's going on and find that and put it into what you want to do. And that's the whole point of the stream alerts. But that's the whole point of the stream, you guys. I love you all. You guys are amazing. Come there. Everybody is diverse. Everybody has different backgrounds, traders, option traders, day traders, Forex traders, everything. Everybody can contribute there, and everybody is going to be able to learn from it. So at the end of the day, the number one thing is you take the information here. Nothing, Everything on the stream is for education, and the whole idea is that we are so diverse. One, the chat has become a scanner. It is news. I think we're even faster than, than Twitter to a degree because at least our chat has some level of verification. It's not just randoms to it. But at the end of the day, anybody could come in, use the info on the, the chat, the stream alerts, whatever. Take the info, could come network with other people, ask other questions to myself and everybody in there. But ultimately, you make the decision yourself for whatever fits your plan. Everyone has different plans and different things. So there's no one size fits all. And there's no one specific we're promoting just do this. That's the beauty of it all. So use this information to fit your goals, your investment goals, what you want with trading and all that. And contribute and ask questions that's all we ask so drop a like you guys subscribe if you're new check out the stream alerts it's in the comments and all that and put some questions too. anything in the comments and like i said 
tomorrow morning, baby. We also are going to have the watch list tonight at 7. Crazy, crazy news. So do not miss that and be ready on Monday. I'm telling you, this week is going to be crazy. So if you watch this week, this so far is game time, baby. So let's go. I'll see you in the morning. And any of those questions you guys email me, ask, we're going to talk about them right in the morning. So come, come pre-market on stream. Love you all. See you in the morning. Let's go.